Right guys, good morning. It's just the 17th of July. I'm just going to actually weigh myself and let's see how much I weigh. Oh, balance. What is that? So around 138 maybe. So I'm not sure what that is in stone, so I need to Google it, but yeah, I'm feeling pretty skinny at the moment. I'll try and show you. Oh, yeah. Looking pretty lean. Oh. Not quite a six pack, but you know, getting there. Right, time to get dressed before we head out. Mmm, hello clean clothes. I'm very excited about you. Okay guys, it is about 10 to 8. We are leaving in 8 minutes, so I've got like, my sleeping bag over there. I've got my stuff on the chair, so I'm going to pack everything up and get ready to go. Me and Panda are heading back into the woods. Shenandoah National Park. So massive thank you to Stanimals. I hope I can show you it. Stanimals, 328 Hostel for having us. So we're on the application trail, obviously. Uploaded all my videos, super, super pleased. Now I just need to get myself sorted, but definitely feel more energized and excited. We are saying goodbye to Stanimals and we are getting in the car with say your name. Katisa. With Katisa. And say hi Panda. Hey everyone. Woo! So we're getting back on the trail, but first of all I think we're gonna be stopping at um, Subway. I know. Oh really? Meets, yeah, to get like a the breakfast and then also to pack out lunch as well. So. Oh right, okay. Subway. Woo. Can't believe I'm going into Subway, but here we are. Oh, this is actually bringing back memories of university when I used to finish my nights out and have a subway. There you go, Panda. What's it? So good. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Stanimal. Say hi to the vlog. Hey, how's it going? So just say to Stanimal, he's just dropped me back off at the trail and we're heading back into Shenandoah National Park. It's going to be good, but um, do you want to give a shout out to your hostel? Stanimal's 328 Hostel and Shuttle Service, Waynesboro and Virginia. Wainsboro, Virginia and Glasgow, Virginia. Woohoo! Go stay there, it's awesome. <laughs> hey guys, so it looks like I, well, I'm obviously at Sh Shenandoah National Park, so I need to fill in a, uh oh, I need to fill in a form. So, one of these bad boys, that's what I'm going to do right now. The form has been filled in, I have attached it to my pack. I think I'm ready to go, let's get moving. So I probably didn't end the vlog, the vlog properly yesterday, but you know what, I just had such a great like evening and day off, rest day, zero day, whatever you want to call it, even though it wasn't a zero day because I still walked 20 miles, but getting to the hostel, having a shower, getting my laundry done, being able to, <laughs> the shower is basically right by the fridge, so you can have a drink, you can have an ice cream, you can get clean. Then I'm going to watch Wonder Woman, which was absolutely epic. If you haven't seen it, go and watch it, go and buy the DVD, go and support the movie, because it's absolutely phenom phenomenal. Um, then just coming back, sleeping with my head on a pillow. Like, honestly, sometimes it's the little things that make me happy. And um, yeah, this morning, you know, being dropped back off the trail, stopping off to grab a Subway sandwich, which I don't obviously normally eat. I haven't actually eaten them for about 13 years, ever since university, so I'm not sure I finished the story, but basically, final year at university, last term, everyone was going out a lot, and I was up at uh, Durham University. They had a little nightclub called, oh my God, called Clute, and you come out of Clute, and basically on the walk home, you go past the subway, and I would go in and have a BLT, extra bacon, extra cheese, thank you very much, with a cookie. And let's just say I put on a lot of weight um, from eating all of this food because I was eating it every single night. And basically I couldn't look at a subway since and I haven't literally I'd have to cross the to the other side of the street because it made me feel sick. But out on the trail, my appetite has changed, my craving has changed, my whole diet has changed. It's not to say it's changed per permanently because I will be changing it back as soon as I get off the trail. Um, but yeah, like I'm feeling, I'm just feeling more refreshed and more ready just to attack the next couple of days, which is what I need to do. I need to up the mileage, get on track and just 
get to where I need to get to to make sure that I can complete the trail in 100 days. So yeah, keep on following along. So we're going now down this little pathway around the corner and hopefully it's going to be flat-ish. This Go everywhere. I'm not sure what this word means, everything, but fear nothing. Go everywhere and something fear nothing. So guys, we're just crossing over Beagle Gap, elevation 2490, and they've even got border porties. What is happening? What is that all about? So, it's about 2.2 miles to the next shelter, and then after that shelter, it's 0.6 miles to the spring, which is where I can fill up my water. I've got about half a litre left, and I've actually started carrying more water with me now so I carry my litre and then also fill my soya packet up as well so it's about a litre and a half of water I'm carrying now just because it is so gloriously hot in Virginia which is amazing but it does mean you sweat a lot now this is where we're heading next that's the pathway up there to those trees and you might not be able to see it but over there there is a wooden a wooden sign with the blaze on oh right let's get after it a mini summit, woo! Summit to Little Calf Mountain. It's about 1.30, let's see where we've come out at. We've come out at Turk Gap, parking area, elevation 2625. Oh, okay, getting hungry. I stopped at 11.30 for my lunch. I think I'm gonna have to stop at 1.30 or 2.30 for, uh, for my dinner. Yeah, I'm eating a lot. Okay, we're getting back on the trail, folks. There it is, the Magic A. Can you see it? Can you see it? Appalachian Trail, woo! Hey guys, how you doing? It is uh, quarter past four. Super hot day in Virginia, and for the first time, my legs are cramping, and I haven't had this for so long, so I'm just gonna take some more electrolytes and more magnesium, because both legs are just like, Feeling the pain. Ah, yeah. So don't forget your electrolytes, folks, in hot weather. Hey guys, six o'clock, and we are only at Black Rock Gap, elevation two three three zero. Oh, quite a long way to go. Okay, guys, one of my favourite signs to see: Black Rock Hut Spring, 0.2 miles that way. Um, I was having a big debate. Do I carry on because there's a campsite nine miles from here? So it's about 20 past six now. Ugh, and I I should probably go for it. I should I should try and do those extra like nine miles and that'll be a 29 mile day. I said this is a 20 mile day. If I'd started two hours earlier, I think it would have been feasible. The problem is when you start at like half nine or quarter to ten or something, it just cuts down on your hours. So I think get in now get in early, rehydrate, refuel, get rested, and then tomorrow, get up early because it makes a massive psychological difference if I can start before seven o'clock and start walking, bash out a 13, 14 hour day. And I'd love to be able to do like a 30 miler. That would be awesome. My highest mileage so far is 27 miles, which is, which is great, obviously. But the next couple of days, I really need to smash it so just to get me on target so I'll talk to you I'll try and talk to you a little bit later on just about the numbers and the mileage and everything else like that I'm just gonna rehydrate and sort myself out because as you can see I'm dripping in sweat but it has been another glorious day in Virginia Hey guys, it is 8.05, I'm in bed, I'm going to sleep. I still can't decide what mileage I want to do tomorrow. It's really difficult because I need to bash out big miles either, you know, like I'd love to do like 28, but it looks like I need to do either 31 or 33, and it's just, I don't know if that's just too far, so I think I'm going to have to play things by ear, but the plan is to get up early tomorrow morning and make the most of the day, so at least I have to start walking by at least 7 o'clock, so that is the plan telling you now to hold me accountable thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed the video 
please like, please subscribe, big shout out to Flynn for doing all the editing. All the links you could possibly need are down below, so go check out the website, go check out all of the podcasts, go check out previous videos, and yeah, I'll speak to you tomorrow. Alright, take care, lots of love, bye.